The transfiguration of the Lord Jesus Christ is a magnificent event in which Jesus' disciples met his deity on a hill called Tabor. The Church commemorates this event on August 6, and on that day the priest Don Stefano Gobi had an apparition and received the following message. Climb with me to the holy hill of grace and holiness, that you may be enlightened and transformed by the glorious light of my Son Jesus. He is the Father's only begotten Son. He is the Word of the Father, born of eternity, identical with the Father. His perfect image and reflection of His divine radiance. As He was transformed at Tabor before Peter, John, and James, so it is shown to you in the splendor of His divine glory, if you climb with me on the holy hill of humility, love and purity, silence and prayer. The Father reveals his secrets only to children and little ones, while hiding them from the big and wise. The Son announces his divine splendor to you, little children, whom I have shaped and guided by motherly care, on the hill of holiness. When the Word became the body in my virginal lap, the human nature he took over completely overshadowed his divine radiance. Thus his human nature completely hid his divine nature. Watch a newborn laid in a manger, who needs everything, the boy as he develops into a man, a young man doing his daily work, a man of pain carrying the burden of weakness, rejection, condemnation, flogging, crowning with thorns, crucifixion, and death on the cross. You see how his divine nature is completely crushed by his human nature. Yet I, by a continual heroic act of faith, worshipped God in my son Jesus, and in my soul I always observed him in the splendor of his deity. At the hour of resurrection, his deity manifests itself in its splendor, so that it takes on in itself its human nature. In the risen Jesus, his human nature was glorified, for now his body is glorious, as seen by the three apostles at Tabor. And he was transfigured before them, and his face shone as the sun, and his raiment became white as the light, from the Gospel of Matthew chapter 17. Today you need to observe more the eternal glory of Jesus Christ. Many doubt his divine nature, dispute his word, deny the historical event of his resurrection. Dear sons, boldly proclaim to all the deity of my son Jesus. Let the radiance of his truth shine on you. Remember his death, announce his resurrection, in anticipation of his glorious arrival. King of eternal glory. When Jesus returns in his divine splendor and appears to all mankind, everyone will see what the three apostles, Peter, James, and John, saw on Mount Tabor. Jesus will manifest in his splendor, and his human nature will be completely transformed by the bright light of his deity. Then the whole universe will proclaim Jesus Christ the Son of God, the perfect image of the Father, the Word made flesh, the only Saviour. He works when everything is created and who has the power to subject everything to himself. Jesus will bring his glorious kingdom into the world, it will be a kingdom of holiness and grace, justice, love and peace. Beloved sons, live in joyful anticipation of his glorious return. That is why I invite you to walk with me on the path of smallness and humility. The Father will reveal to you the secret of his Son, the Holy Spirit will reveal the whole truth to you, Jesus Christ will appear to you in the splendor of his divine person, that all may worship him, that all may love and glorify him as King of eternal glory.